parents and policymakers should take a zero-tolerance approach to stop children being exposed to second-hand cigarette smoke, claims new research. Kids exposed to fag smoke from a young age can suffer lifelong cardiovascular consequences as well as respiratory and other health issues. Besides impacting heart function by causing damage to arteries, exposure to second-hand smoke has also been associated with other cardiovascular risk factors including obesity, high cholesterol, and insulin resistance, which is linked to diabetes. And children are more likely to become smokers themselves if their parents smoke, according to a new scientific statement published in the American Heart Association Journal's Circulation. Professor Gita Roguvia, a pediatric cardiologist and chairman of the American Heart Association expert panel that wrote the statement, said, Parents should consider making their children's environment smoke-free because cigarette smoke exposure is harmful to children's long-term heart health and may shorten life expectancy. Children exposed to cigarette smoke may develop early heart disease as adults due to poorly functioning, stiffer blood vessels. Some babies who were exposed to cigarette smoke while still in the womb may be at risk for sudden death during infancy. She said since publication of the 1994 American Heart Association statement on the topic, experts have learned more about the dangers of secondhand smoke to children, including the high level of toxicity in the smoke that comes from the end of a burning cigarette, and the damage smoke does to children's blood vessels and second-hand smoke contains a host of chemicals that can impact health by causing changes to blood flow, blood vessels, blood pressure and heart rhythm. Children, compared with adults, are especially vulnerable to second-hand smoke exposure in part because they cannot control tobacco use in their surroundings, and they appear to be particularly susceptible physically to the smoke's effects. Blood testing in a 2011 twelfths American study detected a nicotine metabolite called cotinin in nearly 41% of children aged 3 to 11, and in 34% of those aged 12 to 19. Despite declines over recent decades in adult smoking rates, Professor Roguvier added, encouraging adults to quit smoking is a cost-effective and health-enhancing strategy that could benefit both adults and children. Raising cigarette taxes to discourage smoking could also decrease childhood exposure. The statement also has suggestions aimed at healthcare professionals that include electronic medical records that could alert healthcare providers that a child is exposed to cigarette smoke, and training in motivational counseling to help families make changes. Professor Roguvia said that although research is lacking on how effective some of the steps might be, it's essential to try. Watch more videos at video.5la.net.